crypto ghost town, depression, whatever you want to call it. This hourly chart on Bitcoin does a great job illustrating, I think, the general sentiment. This is 10 days of nothingness on Bitcoin price. Just giving a really good example of, of what's going on from a sentiment, sentiment perspective. That is to say, nothing. And a lot of people are just giving up. A lot of people are depressed. That's what I want to talk about in this video. And I want to explore the case where we're in this ghost town. And will that lead to a sell-off similar to what we saw in 2018 exploring this Twitter post? And we're also going to look at ADA, everybody. I want to zoom out on ADA and really discuss the next move on the long term and why the floor for ADA likely in. That is gen generally my sentiment across all of crypto, but I'm going to illustrate it on the Cardano chart. So hit the subscribe and like if you're still out there. I appreciate you. I really do. And let's start here with this tweet. I said, whoever's still here in crypto is past feeling fear. And I think that. Let me know in the comments below if you're out there right now. Don't you just, there's no fear, right? It's just kind of like, you know what, whatever. Go to zero, do whatever you're going to do, bounce. It is what it is at this point. If you're still here as a crypto holder, any more downside will just play into depression. People getting sick of it. People getting tired of it. People being like, just over it. Not fear, just over it. And that's why I am becoming increasingly bullish as we all know what happens after depression. So I'm, I'm keeping an eye on the, the sentiments, the stages of market cycles, because after depression is disbelief. Now, look at all of this that we just endured, all the way from euphoria to complacency, anxiety, denial. And I'm going to actually look at this on the charts. And then we're going to look at this tweet, this post, I should say. Bitcoin. Interest levels remind me of 2018. Ghost town on Twitter. People stop talking about it. And he's illustrating this, this area where Bitcoin went from like 6,000 to 3,000. And this was the interest levels of 2018, very similar to where we are right now. I want to explain why I disagree with this post and why I don't think that is what's happening right now. But let's just go to the weekly chart and just discuss some things. So in terms of capitulation, I look at capitulation all the way back here. The capitulation phase 2014 and 15, that's a capitulation phase to me. Back here. What was illustrated in that post we just looked at, this is capitulation phase to me. In this bear market, right here, that huge sell-off all the way back in November, that's capitulation phase to me. Right now, out of capitulation phase, if we re revisit my, my post, the next phase is anger and depression, right? And, and you can actually see in between capitulation and anger, there's, there's this balance to the upside. We go back to the weekly, notice what happened. Balance to the upside. All the way back there in 2016, 2015, uh, and yeah, 2015, bounced to the upside all the way back here in 2019, still followed by anger and depression. And here we are, bounced to the upside out of, out of capitulation, and we still do have, I think, that, that anger, depression phase. I think most recently, what we've really endured over, the, over most recent weeks is an anger type of sentiment, and we're getting ready to enter a depression phase. And that's kind of what's going on back here in these red boxes. Even here, this was kind of like a depression of 2016. And that is to say nothing was happening. It was just sideways on that 20-week moving average. It wasn't terribly down, right, Bitcoin and crypto, but that was kind of a depression phase. And that is why I think we're entering this, we're in the same accumulation phase prior to the halving, right? The cycles are so on point right now. I think we're entering just the depression phase. Now, what I want to mention is that one tweet, that one post, that is to say, it feels like this, right? And there's one very simple reason I just disagree with where we're in this general vicinity of November 2018. And that is to say, it's just the time frame of cycles. We could, uh, we could really liken that move to the downside with what happened here. This resistance at the 20 week into the capitulation move. That was a capitulation move then off the 20-week moving average, and it's a capitulation move this time off the 20-week moving average. But right now, we're all the way towards the Bitcoin halving, the next Bitcoin halving. We are, we are more in this area of the Bitcoin charts, right, than we are in this area of the Bitcoin charts and the Bitcoin cycles. That is to say, I think the worst of it is over in the bear markets, and we're just, we just got to get through this entire red box, the depression phase, and a lot can happen in this red box with crypto. And that's why, you know, we have to anticipate what's going to happen next. So let's pivot over to Cardano. We're going to actually continue using this general time frame, this, these red boxes. 
Uh, and we're particularly going to look at this, this move that happened over here, the COVID move in 2020. Let's go over to Cardano. This is Cardano zoomed out. I want to do a couple of things. I first want to just make note of the fact that I really do think that where we are right now is extremely similar to where we were back here in the accumulation phase. Just like we looked at on the Bitcoin chart, the same thing is happening on the Cardano chart. And here's the halving of 2020, and here's the halving of 2024. So we're right on pace. What I wanted to explore in this video, though, is I wanted to actually just make note of something. If you look at the Cardano charts, we're on pace. We're actually not at three to four cents this time. We're actually around 26 cents, which I think is good. But look what happened as we're entering this red box back here. ADA pulled into the 20-week moving average. And that is not to say, and we're at such a similar area right now, that's not to say that we're going to just make a little move into the 20-week moving average over the coming weeks, but it's something I think we could anticipate, right? And, and in doing that, we start talking about the zoomed-in type of scenarios that we have on ADA. I haven't even cleaned my chart up from the last video I did. We were tracking the, the consolidation on the six-hour chart for ADA. We were waiting for consolidation, and look, it's happened almost perfectly. The symmetrical triangle, I believe we were really just kind of being speculative about the triangle, and it's played out. Right now, we have a kind of a break to the upside, but there's potential. ADA does actually cruise to the upside, and in the longer term, or I should say in the short to midterm, that might not be play out to be the most bullish thing, right? Because if we go back to this chart on ADA, what happened? ADA to the 20-week moving average, it went lower. So that is to say, we could see nice gains to the upside in the short term. And when I say nice gains, I'm talking like to 30 cents or something, pulling into the upside. And then we might actually hit that depression phase of ADA. But what I think I really want to just make note of in terms of these charts is let me zoom in and just give you some perspective. Number one, maybe we do get a pull into the 20-week moving average and we test that area. And if it happens, we'll, we'll track. Does ADA fail at around 30 cents if it, if it gets to that area? Does it break above 30 cents? That could be a huge macro divergence, something extremely important on the ADA charts that could be very bullish, a bullish confirmation. And we'll track those things if they happen. But even if we pull in and fail there, I just, I can't help but look at, look at something that's happening here. This is, in this very zoomed in on the, on the macro, in my opinion, this is it. This is the floor for ADA. We could go lower. The floor could be down here, sub 20 cents. I don't know what, it, what, is, what the play is going to look like, but this general time frame could be it. Why that is so crazy to me is when I zoom out and I look at everything that was just endured on the ADA charts, this little time frame is nothing. The floor, the bottom for, for ADA, and I think crypto in general, is so close. And it's happening as we are falling into a depression phase. And, and people really are just giving up. And, and it's so evident across all of crypto. The engagement online, right? The, the interest level of crypto, it is fading. And it's normal. And for me personally, and this is just the way that I approach these markets, I don't enjoy it either. Like, it's not exciting for me either. But right now, my confidence level in what is just around the corner is getting very strong. And that's why I kind of mentioned in my tweet, I'm getting more and more bullish. So time frame wise this, the, the, in terms of the red rectangle itself, we can actually look at, um, if I could find the time frame tool, would be helpful. We can look at it. We are in August to the end of this red box, November. It's a few months. A few months after enduring this entire bear market. And what I really want to mention is this. If we go back to the last, the last cycle and ADA did actually finally find its floor, which again, this is what I think we're getting close to. What happened here, I think we're, we're getting very close to this happening. Look what happened next. ADA just rallied to the upside and obviously saw just this swing high. And then what happened? Mass fear global event stepped in. We can't assume it's definitely not going to happen again, especially with the evil, corrupt governments 
uh, in play right now. Who knows what they're going to do? But let's let's say it doesn't. Let's say we don't get some type of crazy event like that. What will Ada do? An environment where it is bottoming out, similar to what happened here. And instead of a mass fear event, is it just going to consolidate to the 20 week? Is a higher low? What's going to happen, right? And that's really what I'm starting to think deeply about as we do get closer to this area. I'm going to have a lot of fun tracking Ada. Uh, obviously, even in the short to midterm to see what actually happens here. We, do we get a pull to the upside and then downside? Are we just going to continue falling to a new low? But exiting this, this area, finally putting in a floor and a bottom and, and exiting to the upside, which I really think will happen, I am curious to see as we approach the next Bitcoin halving what ADA does, especially with everything going on within the Cardano ecosystem this time around. What's happening now in Cardano was not happening the last cycle. So put aside a mass fear event if that doesn't happen. We're getting really close, I think, to some exciting things happening, even with ADA price, right? So that's what I'll be tracking. I wanted to just give a zoomed out picture of what's going on, everybody, because at the end of the day, zoomed in, this is what's going on. And I, I don't want to sit here and just, I don't want to talk about the charts unless something meaningful happens on the zoomed in. This is Bitcoin, by the way. So let me know your thoughts about all of these things, everybody, in the comments below. I appreciate you. I really do. If you're out there and you're still here hanging with me, watching these videos, props to you. And thanks for being on the crypto journey with me. If you're out there and you're not a subscriber, hit the subscribe, hit that like button. Your support really means a lot. I'll see you in the next video. God bless.